Oh, Epcot, how I love you. Let's take a closer look. Hi everybody, welcome to the world of Micah. Today I am here at Epcot and we're gonna find 10 things you must buy when you're visiting Epcot. Let's take a closer look. Now before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It'll keep you updated on my latest video and it's free. First item on our list is gonna be right underneath Spaceship Earth at the Gateway Gifts. For when you come inside at the counter, check this out. They have a World Showcase Passport. It comes with a button and your passport for all the different countries that you will visit around the World Showcase. You will get a World Showcase Passport, 11 sticker sheets, and an Epcot exclusive button. There's the button and this is the passport. And when you visit all the countries, you can put your sticker on each of the countries that you visit. Now, obviously you do not need that passport when you go around World Showcase, but I did think that was pretty neat, especially if you have kids or anybody in your family that has actually never been out of the country. This will be a fun way to introduce them on how a real passport actually works. Next stop lies inside Future World. Where if you're a fan of Starbucks and Epcot, you don't want to miss out on this next one. It's right inside the Fountain View Starbucks. Check it out. Had this very unique Epcot Starbucks mug. Look in the details. There's all kinds of tributes to old attractions, including Food Rocks and the Kitchen Cabaret, Journey into Imagination with Figment, Ellen's Energy Adventure and the Universe of Energy over here, Body Wars, Figment, all kinds a pretty amazing stuff all inside that little Mickey there. Pretty neat, right? And when you make the exit, be sure to look right over here because that's actually the logo for the old Communicore building, which is right next to it. Our next stop is right over here next to the Imagination Pavilion. There's a popcorn stand, but don't worry, it's not just regular popcorn like this. This popcorn is popcorn you can only get here at Epcot. Check it out, there's cheddar cheese, buffalo blue cheese, or sour cream and chive. And the flavor popcorn is gonna be $5.50, while if you get the regular popcorn, it's only $4.50. So if you wanna flavor up your popcorn, it's gonna cost extra. Here at Epcot, you really have to use your imagination. Luckily, we can always go see my good friend, Figment. You guys know our good friend Figment, right? And our good friend Figment has merchandise of his own that you guys can buy and take home with you. Bum ba da bum, check it out. So much Figment merchandise, including this hat. You can wear Figment on top of your head. And this hat has his wings on the back. You can even take Figment home with you. So much Figment merchandise. You gotta love it. This is the Jamiters. Amateurs are pretty awesome. I highly recommend checking them out the next time you're here in Future World. But our next item on our list is right over here at Mission Space. And don't worry, you don't actually have to ride Mission Space. You just have to visit the Mission Space cargo bay right over here. And here it is. Check it out. You can get Neapolitan ice cream sandwich, whole strawberries, seedless grapes, cinnamon, apple wedges, everything you need as far as food goes for the next time you visit outer space. All of this is astronaut food. And if someone in your family doesn't want to get astronaut food, there's something else in here they can get for free. And it's right up here. A little free hidden Mickey. Do you guys see him? There's his nose, his face, and two ears. I figure not everybody likes astronaut food, so I wanted to give you guys something free at least. Next up on the list is for all of you who collect the souvenir pennies. And just like at all four parks, there are the souvenir penny machines throughout the entire park. See, it's right over here. You can get the classic Epcot logo that says established in 1982, one with figment on it, and they even have one for the Incredibles. But if you're looking for Epcot specific, Penny souvenirs, these are the two you're gonna wanna get. Last stop in Future World is gonna be here at Mouse Gears. Gifts with real character. Because when you visit a Disney park, you should be able to buy park specific merchandise. And here at Mouse Gears, they have all kinds of Epcot merchandise. Bum, bum, bum. See, they have a lot of merchandise still here from the 35th anniversary. And it's all pretty neat. Pretty cool car tag, a pennant, button, and sticker, and they have magnets 
and keychains too. I love that some of this stuff says Epcot Center on it. That was the original name for Epcot. And I'm glad because of the 35th, they're starting to use that name again, at least on the merchandise. You can have 100 billion Mickey Mouse shirts or 100 billion Walt Disney World shirts, but I like the fact that you can get Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom specific merchandise. That to me, it's pretty cool. All right, Future World, that about does it. Now it's time to move on. The World Showcase. And the next three items on our list lie within the World Showcase here at Epcot. When you visit each of the countries, you must buy specific alcohol for that country, specific candy in that country, and specific ice cream or dessert in that country. Now, most people would ask me, why didn't you include food? Well, I figure food is kind of a given, and most people don't really think about candy or ice cream most people have alcohol or food on their mind when they visit the countries here at Epcot's World Showcase so I figured I would pick between alcohol or food and I'm gonna go with alcohol on this because I think it's the more popular option so the next time you're here in England I highly recommend grabbing a drink over at the Rose and Crown pub they've definitely got you covered when it comes to beer but they also have a fully functioning bar for those of you who don't drink beer and the next time you get a hankering for some ice cream be sure to visit France. More specifically, this place, because they have 16 flavors, handcrafted from scratch, ice cream and sorbet. And you never know, you might see Aurora passing through France when you're here too. For candy, you're gonna wanna stop here in Japan. Because right over here, they have a pretty good collection. Oh yes, candy friends, this is definitely your stop. I mean, look at all of this candy. They've got everything you could dream of here. I don't even know what this is, but I want to try it. And you never know who you're going to see here at Epcot. Look, everybody, it's Big Al. Oh my gosh, last time I saw you was at Frontierland, man. You're making a world traveler now, right? Playing Blood on the Saddle. I love it. That's my favorite song you sing. I love it. Actually, that's the only song you really sing. But I think you steal the show. If I do say so myself, you really do steal the whole bunch of our show. This guy is awesome. I'm so glad I found you at Epcot. This is amazing. Can I have a hug for the road? Thank you. Oh, big owl hugs are the best. I'm your last guest. Look, everybody, it's Max Goof. Oh my goodness. Look at this guy. I gotta shake the hand. Awesome. And shake the camera as we do that too. Look, everybody, it's me and Max. This is so cool. You know, my buddy Jason actually lended you his voice for the Goofy movie. My buddy Jason. Jason, you know who this guy is right here? Yeah. He helped you do the voice for the movie. Hi, Max. See you later. You want a handshake? All right, all right, all right. We'll do the handshake. We'll keep it, we'll keep it formal. Whoa, that was so cool. And Jason, if you're watching, that was so cool meeting Max. I wish you were here to do that. Moving on to our next item on our list. Next item on our list is right over here inside this building, where if you're a fan of soccer or football, as they call it, then check out Disney Traders. They actually sell Epcot World Showcase soccer balls. They have hats. They have a pretty neat jersey with the Epcot logo on it. A regular shirt with Mickey kicking the soccer ball on it. Oh, and even a miniature version of the soccer ball. Now, obviously that one is considered seasonal, but definitely check it out during the season when they have the World Cup going on because they'll have a ton of merchandise in there for soccer. Well, everybody, I think we did it. We successfully traveled around Epcot and found 10 things you must buy while you're here at Epcot. But now it is time to say Goodbye. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It'll keep you updated on my latest video. And it's free. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on the next episode of World of Micah. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye. Goodbye.